Recording is started and uh, there you go. We're gonna do whatever is necessary to do this and we're gonna keep track of the game. We have Orc against Undead and we're gonna see how this unfolds. How this is being brought to us and how we see a game that is being played on this beautiful map of Echo Isle. We have another mod. Deepma, your time of being mod is run out as it seems. Your powers have not been strong enough. So I'm very sorry. There we go. Next is now going up. It is the player in the orange color called and Sky. Nexi, is it? I don't know. Let's call him Sky. He's probably the best orc player that we will ever see playing the game, picking up the beautiful game of Warcraft, going up against his opponent, Nikok Dani Komu. One of the best unnet players that you will ever see playing that game. Starting with a ghoul build order, two ziggurats are already there. He's spawning in the pink color and he wants to do some more skulls. He wants to put some more skulls on the ground here of Echo Isles. So, Altar of Darkness. Still waiting for the first hero choice. We have a fairly early ghoul running over the map and seeing what's going on here. Maybe this could do something really good for him. Maybe he could cancel a shop and then force the Blade Master in a weird situation. Speaking of the Blade Master, it will be the first hero of choice for Hinskai. Shola Hinskai is going at it with the orange Blade Master, as well as the first grunt that will come out of the barracks in a second. Voodoo launch is being started here to buy some healing selves and heal up later in the game and also in the early stages as soon as you go for the first creep spot. We want to heal up after that one. We do not see a hero coming out for the under player. He starts one to pretend to create one, but in fact he's waiting to hire one in the middle. And what kind of hero will that be? Do we see do we probably see a Beastmaster here? I think this might be the only valid choice that you can do. Beastmaster or Dark Ranger. I do not see anything else. But as I say that, we're gonna see the Fire Lord coming out as the first hero for the under player. And this is a weird guy. He is wearing a crown, which of course makes him a potential king of any kind of race. But in the end, he also got all these crazy spikes around his arms and stuff. He's made out of lava, so a he's a pretty cool looking dude. Attack. He got some swag. Look at him, how he walks. He also got this crazy nice face that he got with that beautiful smile, as you can see it in the chain around his neck. So he's probably a pimp that is used to be a dancer in a hip-hop movie. Because just watch him walk, like, for a second. Come on, start walking, mate. We want to see that. Look how swag he's walking. Do it. This is some swaggy walk. He got his shit down. He knows how to handle this beautiful game of Warcraft. And he's now marching the way of the Orc player. In the meantime, let's see what this guy, aka Shale, is doing here. The Blade Master was doing some creeping. He drops down to, like, 100 HP, but heals up with the healing selves. Ring of protection being found at the top green spot close to his main base. Two grunts are marching out. DK is, uh, DK is going that way. But we see that there is like more ghouls coming the way of the under player. First lava spawn on the ground. We do have a few skeletons coming. And there it is. The fire lord is going at it. He wants to be aggressive right from the start. Maybe if he surrounds a borrower, he finds himself in a good situation. But if he calls the repair fast enough, it should be possible to cancel that attempt to kill the borrow. The, the fire, the lava spawn should actually attack the grunt or the peons because if you do attack buildings they never split but if you attack units they will of course split at some point. So do not ever attack buildings with lava spawns. The lava spawns are both dropping kinda low as well as the fire lord. Boots of speed already being bought as well as the staff teleportation to get back to his main base. And this looks really good for the orc player already. If he kills the lava spawns before they split he should be in a fantastic spot he could also chase down the fire lord here if he feels like it because with the boots of speed he will always be faster uses the speed scroll kills one of the ghouls already gathers like more and more experience in the meantime the borrow kills another ghoul one grunt goes down fire lord being driven away he cannot even use the rod of necromancy as i said it one grunt is down second grunt still strong third grunt is idling here and waiting to restore his missing HP. The Borrow doing a really good job. Kills a second ghoul. Second kill already being granted. Blade Master going ham on all the ghouls. It's now going for the Fire Lord. Could have used the Speed Scroll to speed things up a little bit and kill this one a little faster. Fire Lord uses the Town Pole to stay alive. Third ghoul goes down. Fourth ghoul about to die to the second Borrow that is now loaded and shooting. 
A fifth ghoul would probably die to this Boro, but the Blade Master in the meantime, he comes back to the party. Kids that skeleton should stop shooting uh, the ghouls to death with the Boros. He could gather some more experience. GG, no chances. Under player drops out, and we got a beautiful game of Warcraft here with the Shwaggy Firelord. GG.